Well hello there everyone, David your friendly hairy Scotsman here once again. Today I'm going to do a wee roll for my lunch. Now, today is actually Burns Day. Our national poet, Rabbi Burns. Um, and he, he really died many years ago, to be honest. Uh, just change the specs over there so I can see. Oh, that's better, I'm not foggy and out of focus. Um, he died many years ago. He wrote Tamus by the wee Curran Timorous Slicket Beastie. Um, Great Chieftain of the Pudding Race, which is the Haggis. And he also wrote Old Lang Syne, amongst a few other things that he wrote. So, with him in mind, my role of choice today is going to be Haggis. Got a roll, um, got some oil, brown sauce to go on it. Now, I know you're supposed to have neeps and tatties with it, but I just didn't fancy it to be honest. Um, so I'm going to have it on a roll with an egg. So, let's open this up, see if we can get into it somewhere. Well, Basically, you don't really want to know what's in it. I mean, the reading glasses, not my seeing ones. Haggis slices with lamb offal, beef fats and spices. There is lamb's lung, 30%, water, oatmeal, beef liver, 13%, beef suet at 12%, pearl barley, kibbled onion, salt, ground pimento, uh, ground black pepper and that is basically it now you can shallow fry it you can grill it, you can microwave it I'm not putting it in the microwave grilling it will take too long so it's getting shallow fried I'm Scottish, we fry just about everything it tastes better so uh, for half a pack, well I'm only going to have one slice, there's four slices in here, but for two of them, there's 257 kcal, or 1072 kilojoules, so that would be 536 kilojoules, and 127.5 kilocalories per slice. That's not bad for you. There's 10 grams of protein in two of them, so I mean, you can't even run at that. And it's made by a company called Macaulay's. You don't want to see the traffic lights. But if you do, there you go. So, let's Somehow get into this. I don't know what they use on this, but it's like bloody super glue. That's no opening. So stick the knife in it and pull a piece out that has me stuck to the other one. Two bits. Okay, we've got one bit. Put a little bit in there now. So, one piece of haggis, frozen. And it is frozen, it's really cold. So, I'll zoom you over to the pan, which is over there someplace. And we'll zoom in on it. I think we'll try and get you a wee bit closer actually. A bit wobbly but we'll get you there. Up, down and in. Fingers getting stuck in the pan. In the tripod. Right, that's it there. So, get light under it. Put in 
a wee splash of oil just to help it go. And for the egg, I'll pop one in here as well. We drop oil in this one. I haven't put that on yet because that'll take a wee while to go. Okay, that's going at quite a rate. We'll turn it down a wee touch. And let's just plunk it in. So that'll probably take a wee while to go. So I might as well start. Hey, it's starting to sizzle now. Let's come back over here. Making a bit of noise there. So we'll get the roll. That's really going for it. And I'm going to be using some brown sauce on it. That'll get spread again into all the corners. There's my phone bleeping at me, pinging at me again. Looks like I need more sauce on that. Because you really do need to taste sauce when you put it on there. There's really no point, is there? I feel like I need a bit more on here. Yeah, I definitely know I'm going to need a bit more on there. So this one is going out to a pal in Australia called Trish, who's originally from the UK. But we chat occasionally online on Adam's page, who is a New York stringer. Right. We'll have to pop that on because that is really starting to get a bit hot, even though I've got it turned right down. Woo. That was interesting, that's definitely going to spark in. So that's ready. I'll put up a wee bit like that. You can see the, the other pans there. So you can see the haggis is definitely starting to come on nicely. It's got a bit of colour on it. And the fried egg is going to go in there as well. One egg. Perfect fit. Just like that. Hands will be wipe. Get a wee bit more heat under there. That hasn't even changed. Put that again. That way. It's just coming along nicely. Let's drop my salt and pepper. So you put a wee bit of green the salt on there. Pepper on there, put these away again. And let me flip it, I guess. So, it's going a wee bit of nuts over there. Mm 
what I'll do, I'll give that a couple of seconds and I'll pop back. Now that's virtually done, what I'm going to do is get a bit of kitchen roll. Pop it in there, see if it's cooked. Take that down a bit. Take that off a wee bit. You want another wee prod in the middle. That is almost ready there now. And what I'm going to do is add a tatty scone. Then it does fit in. The egg is going to get split. Like so, and it's popped. Like that. That'll take a few seconds just to go off there. The tatty's gone, or the drops the temperature of the pan by quite a bit. Again, that's straight out the freezer. Quite nicely, we'll just get a wee step over. Because these really take no time at all to cook. There's an egg over one more wee flip. Basically, just to make sure that the yolk has cooked. So I'll turn that off, just let the heat in the pan take that down. Back down to the plate, which is down there, a wee bit wider. You can actually see what I'm doing. That looks quite good. Get that heat off. Actually, what I'm going to do first, I'm going to take the egg out of there, pop it on there just to drain some of the fat off it. Over. That is virtually ready there. Get the haggis, drop that on there, and the tatty scone will come out as well. Now, tatty scone can sit like that. Haggis can sit like that. And the egg can sit like that and then pop the top on pop that off like that and then we'll zoom it back up again uh, take it wide like that and I'll try and find myself again there we go up a wee bit there we are perfect now How does that look? Does that look amazing or what? I am going to go for a bite of this. Squeeze it down a wee touch. Oh, I'm looking forward to this. Mmm. There is basically one thing that you can save about that, apart from the bit that's in my beard, save that for later. That is stunning. I don't know how anyone can't like haggis. That is amazing. 
it's peppery, it's meaty, it's just got a lovely taste. The brown sauce just lifts it that wee bit, gives it a wee bit more oomph as well. The egg, the egg just is an egg but it just helps again. And the tatty scone. Anyone who's not had them, I can't actually describe them. Basically it's like a, a small thin potato cake. Potato flour, might be egg in it. Not certain, I'll just have to look it up, find out. But it's got this taste about it as well, which just is yum. Mm. The steam is coming off that still. There you go. I am so glad I had that today, or I'm having it, I should say. That just, it just hits the spot. I don't know what the spot is, but it's hitting it. It is so good. Anyone who hasn't tried haggis, unless you're a vegetarian or a vegan, sorry, but that's your own fault, um, you can get vegan, well you can get vegetarian haggis, to me that's not haggis. Um, I don't know how you get the lungs out of a plant but it doesn't work for me. Basically haggis, you get a sheep and the bits that you're normally going to throw away is what you make haggis out of. That's the best way to describe it. A lot of folks say because it's called awful, it's going to be awful. No. With the right spices and the way it's cooked down and with the barley and all that in it, it's, it just works. It is so tasty. I feel sorry for folk who can't get this stuff. It's, yeah. I love it. It's a bit, I mean, it's even the shape of a smile. I mean, what more can I say? Hmm. <laughs> well, all right, I haven't had neeps with it. I've had a tiny scone, so I'm going to vanish just now and uh, finish this, clear up, have a slurp of cranberry and lemonade. I know it's meant to be whiskey, but I'm always on call with my main job, which is a photographer, if you didn't already know. I do a lot with the local papers and some of the nationals, so I can get called at any time, so I'm not going to risk uh, drinking whiskey. Even though it would probably be quite nice with that. <coughs> um, and it's only 25 to 3 in the afternoon. A wee bit early to start, I think. So, I'm going to toddle off. Um, if you like what I do, I'd appreciate it if you hit the like button. Leave a wee comment, let me know what you think. Um, leave me some ideas on things you want me to do. As long as they're clean and nice. Um, if you haven't already hit the subscribe button, which I noticed quite a few folk haven't yet, um, I would really appreciate that, it's free. Um, it doesn't cost you anything. That coming for a Scotsman really tells you all. It's free. If you hit the bell, it should let you know when I'm putting more of these up. I'm definitely putting up a lot more than I did last year. I'm just uh, really enjoying this again. Uh, and I've got a lot of ideas as well. I'm going to do quite a bit more cooking, hopefully. Um, not just simple things like this. I mean, that's basically just warming stuff through. Anyone can do that. But I fancy doing some more uh, recipes, uh, things like that. Lower price stuff but still very tasty, you know, stuff that will help folk out. <coughs> uh, the way the world's going at the moment, prices are rocketing, so if I can try and help save money a wee bit, and still give you something that's really tasty, hey, I'll try. Um, probably try them all first. I might just do straight from uh, the book or whatever, just, you know, just going cold. 
Um, let me know if you want me to do that. I'm going to toddle off because this is starting to cool down a little bit. So I'm going to go away and eat that. Uh, tidy around here because it's, yeah, it's needing some stuff put away. Take care of yourselves everyone and hopefully I will be speaking to you all again very soon. See ya!